What's going on everybody, AJ here. Welcome back to my channel. We're down here at the Lake local GameStop. Uh, we're gonna open up some Pokemon cards. We're gonna go in to see what they have. Maybe do a little incognito um, filming because I know the last time they don't like uh, cameras in their faces. So we're gonna go in, see what they have, grab a couple things and then go home and open them. So stay tuned. All right, everybody. So I just went in. Uh, I just got myself some Crown Z and this stuff because I haven't really opened too much of it. Uh, these things are so expensive over here up in Canada. And not even GameStop at all, but $36 for this one tin. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but uh, there better be something good in it. And then I got bum, 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 Lugia with the unknown. So we're going to go home. We're going to crack these bad boys. Maybe just save one. We're gonna maybe crack the Lugia for now, and then we're gonna save the other um, Zapdos tin for the other video. So stay tuned, I'm gonna head home. We're gonna set up and get these things cracked. All right, everybody, I'm back. Let's get things set up here. All right, we're gonna be taking out the Lugia unknown, and we're gonna save the uh, Galarian Zapdos for later. I think that's gonna be our next video. Um, but for now, let's get this here. Sit down. Here's the mouthy Pikachu, just in case anyone missed it in the last video. What it is is that it has this little metal prongs down here. You, as soon as you connect your fingers onto it, it activates it. And uh, this little mouthy guy got into a lot of trouble because it says Pikachu, but people found out once you start Spamming it. it. Definitely doesn't sound like he's saying Pikachu anymore, but on with the Crown Zenith! Well, I'm kind of excited for this because I haven't actually opened any Crown Zenith before. I don't know what's in the set. I just assume that it's got some Lugia, it's got um, a whole bunch of different arts. I do not know. So let's just get in here. Let's crackle act this bad boy. I'll be giving all the codes away, maybe towards the end of the video, maybe just randomly, who knows. Down there. Take the plastic out. How are these things? Are these things still with the, oh, these, it's so much better with these little plastic inserts. Cause now, I can just drop them out. All right, here we go. We got one Lugia V. We got one Unknown V. Then we got ourselves the Lugia Crown Zenith Special Collections Unknown and Lugia V box. All right. Get these guys up here. All right. All right. All right. Um, never really cared for these large ones. They're pretty nice to look at, but. Does anyone really even do anything with these? I mean, it'd be fun to have a big tournament and stuff like that where you're using big cards, but trying to shuffle them all, that kind of stuff. I think these things are a little outdated nowadays. So maybe uh, just like the rainbow arts and all that kind of stuff, maybe these can stop being produced because, uh, I don't know, this is one of those things where it's just kind of <laughs> kind of uh, redundant to have and kind of almost useless. Ooh, what's this? You get a nice little Lugia pin. It's got two. Little stabby things. That's kind of nice. It's a very small pin, though. I'd be kind of afraid it gets bent or something like that. Some of them are actually pretty substantial and they're pretty thick, but not this guy. It's a thin little bird. Ooh, there we go. All right, so we got five packs. One thing about Pokemon cards is that your floor ends up becoming a huge mess after opening a whole bunch of cards. So the cleanups <laughs> ends up being a pain in the ass. So what do you guys think we're going to get? Do you guys think we're going to get anything good? Since I'm not a big streamer and all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, streamer luck and YouTuber luck doesn't really bode well with me. But look at this. Oh, look at how cool this coin is. You guys see that? 
It's a pretty sweet Lugia coin. Okay. Start left to right. All right. Ooh. Um, does Crown of the do they come with um, black code cards for every pack? I wonder. And I don't know. Two, three. Do we do two, four to the front? Is it four to the front? Yes. Four to the front. All right. Here we go. We got ourselves a Bisharp, a Graveler, Pokemon Catcher, Yanma, Pinard, Ponard, whatever his name is, <laughs> Cricketot, Shinx, Glaring Mr. Mime. Oh my goodness! I was not expecting that, guys. Holy moly. We just got ourselves the Dark Cry V Star. And is that oh, the Galarian Gallery? What? What's the GG? I don't know what that means. But that's pretty freaking super cool card, guys. Look at that thing. Look at that hollow on there. Dang. Kobayashi. Mr. Kobayashi, you are an amazing artist. Holy moly, that's such a nice card. Dude, that's like a painting. It just reminds me of a painting, like, um... Oh, oh, look how cool that card looks. We need to get some, uh, sleeves around here. Shame on me, I don't have my sleeves on me right now, guys, so excuse me for that. I know it's gonna be, get some heat on for that one, but that's fine. Here it is, Crown Zenith, get your code. All right, starting off with a bang, man. That was awesome. I can't believe I just got that out of there. So that we're gonna find out now. Oh, oh, hey, black code cards. Okay, so I like that. They're following the, the theme of the black code cards. Here is the second card. All right, here we go. Metal energy. More Bishop, more Graveler, more... Wait, what is happening? Didn't we just have those? Scrubbin, Skrelp, Hoplite, Optile, what's his name? Helioptile, Wooloo, Jinx, and we got a Lapras. Oh my goodness, what is going on? This set's fire, guys. Holy crap, this is my first time ever opening this set, and we've already got two of these arts. Oh my goodness. Man, I am just mesmerized by these cards. That is beautiful. Man, this Lapras, look how happy this Lapras is hanging out with his other Lapras friend in the background. Got the Pelipper and the Wingle flying around. That's awesome. I love these kind of cards. This set is... Jeez. <laughs> My first two packs opening cards uh, from Crown Zenith and those what I pull. That is... Uh, I think I'm missing out here, guys. I, I failed to get the set when it first came out, so... Alright. Third code card. Oh, yeah. There you go. You can have it. Alright. Four to the front. Fighting. Rare candy. Oh, it's the Friends one. You can get that in this one, can't you? Well, I don't know if my luck's going to still carry on with uh, these last few. Oh, dude, we got Paris. Look look at that. Look how cute that Paris is. Hey, and a Mewtwo. Attach up to two energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Side dump. That's actually pretty sweet. If your Pokemon has taken three or fewer prize cards remaining, this attack does 90 more damage. Wow. For a hollow, that's actually pretty sweet. It's a cool Mewtwo card. Look oh, yeah, how happy this Paris is. Man, these hollows on here are actually pretty. The hollow foil, it's so pretty. 
right. That's crazy. Usually I thought I would uh, not pull anything, to be honest. I thought I would have just got a whole bunch of just hollow cards. Um, we'll see. I mean, these two packs are to, might not have anything in them, but if not, guys, I think this uh, these Lugia boxes are probably holding some pretty good uh, pulls in them. So if you guys can go get a box, maybe let me know if you guys open them and you guys get any pulls in them. All right, here we go. Digging duo. There's the giraffe ray. I got the uh, the the SAR giraffe rig from uh, Obsidian Flames. Oh, and there we go. See, that's more of a pack I thought I would get. But wasn't that a, a black code card? So I guess the the code cards don't mean anything anymore, which is kind of nice. Is, there's the worst feeling in the world when you pulled green code cards and you knew that the that pack didn't have anything in it. So um, I would say these boxes so far are pretty fire, guys. Uh, going to get this last one open for you guys. Here's the last code card for the front. Can we have some last pack magic? All right, oh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get, oh, it doesn't look like we got anything on the last pack. That is completely fine, because that's, you know, you can't expect everything, every pack to have something, right? So, even though we all want it, you can't always get your get the pulls you want, but let's have a quick review on these cards. My goodness, look at this dark card. This dark card is actually in really good shape. Let's flip it over. Centering looks good. Oh wow, this is actually a really nice card. The quality on these cards are like, are amazing. What do you guys think? Do you think I did uh, pretty good having these three, pulling these three out of one box? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned till we open up the next, uh, the Galarian, Zapdos Galarian uh, box for our next uh, opening. We're gonna do this one maybe tomorrow or the next day. Uh, I got some things going on tomorrow so I don't know if I have time so. Um, but yeah, stay tuned and we'll open up this uh, Galarian Zapdos box next. Thank you so much guys. Ciao.